How's it going out there, everybody? Hope everybody's having a great day. Welcome to Weekly Recap. I'm your host, Cash. And we're going to talk about me operating a semi-truck in the United States for one week. That's why it's Weekly Recap. Let's break down Weekly Recap real quick. I'm going to go over the loads I did, why I did them, why I chose to do this particular stuff. And then we'll go over the money of it. I don't talk about the carrier. I'm leased to. I'm leased to an 80-20 split refrigerated carrier. If it's not a refrigerated load, I'll let you know it. And uh, that's it. I don't talk about these numbers to brag or complain. They just are what they are. There's no manipulation. I don't do it to make friends or enemies. It's just what it is. If it hurts your feelings, that's on you. Um, If it makes you happy, that's also on you. It's nothing I have done here. So let's get to it. Let's talk about it. First load I did, Minnesota out. And that's what I like to do. Minnesota out and back. Because that's, you know, go out, make some money, come home, use the money to, you know, Support the family and spend some time at the house. Rinse, repeat, go out, do it again. So I took a load out. I agreed to a one pick, three drop load as I was going to pick it up. Called and said, hey, they're going to add another stop to this. I'm never a fan of that. (laughs) But uh, so I'll go into that a little bit more. Let's talk about the load first. Uh, It ended up being one pick, four drops, Minneapolis to Chicago then down to Tennessee, then down to Georgia, then back into Tennessee for the final drop. Now, what brokers don't understand and what this changes is, I was not planning on going through Chicago to get to Tennessee from Minneapolis. They call me, they're like, oh, it hardly adds any miles to it. Yeah, you're right. It hardly adds any miles. Other than the fact, now I have to go into Chicago on a Monday morning. There's where you changed it for me. See, I would have been cruising out through rural Illinois, not a care in the world, you know, just listening to the radio, cruising down I-39, dodging the massive holes in the road. That would have been my Monday. But instead, I'm in downtown Chicago. Happy Monday. Um, You know, I paid tolls going that way. I probably would have paid $9 toll, but ended up paying $70 in tolls to go into Chicago and come out of Chicago. So... It's like they added a little money to it, but what's that money really worth to me? You know, wasn't a wor- wasn't enough to really make me want to go to Chicago, but I wasn't going to scrap the entire load because of that. Before, it was supposed to have been like 20,000 pounds, negative 10 degrees. They added a big stop, 35,000 pounds, negative 10 degrees is what it ended up being. Of course, I'm not too worried about the weight they added to it because that weight came off at the first stop and, you know, may- basically... My whole not liking of it was just going into Chicago. Other than that, it was a fine load. Um, It was 35,000 pounds, negative 10 degrees, uh, 48 empty miles to go get that, 1391 on the loaded miles. Uh, The logistics of this were a little weird, the way they had it go down to Georgia, then come back up. I know why they do that. It's a scheduling issue. You know, they have to get appointment times at these places. And these were mostly, you know, big corporate, you know, warehouses and you know sometimes you struggle so i'm not too concerned about that because the load paid accordingly um so that was 1439 uh all miles and that load paid five thousand dollars wasn't complaining too much and then coming back i took a load out of kentucky coming straight back to minnesota and that was thirty four thousand pounds 28 degrees 257 empty miles I don't stress the empty miles, to be honest about it. Uh, to me, a, it's whatever makes me the most amount of money to come back to Minnesota. That's the way I look at that, because that's just what it is to me. So I could have made the same amount of money pulling a heavy load from Georgia all the way back and not had as many deadhead miles. But what's the point? So what I did is I deadheaded 257 miles to go get this load out of Kentucky, which was 730 loaded miles, total miles, 987 miles, and that load paid $1,900. So I was looking at loads out of Georgia and Tennessee that were basically paying the same amount of money. And this load was coming out of uh, like Western Kentucky. So, uh, you know, it was kind of, 
better coming back to Minnesota than the loads I could find out of Tennessee or Georgia. Um, I just didn't want to go to Georgia and get a chicken load. This load was a very quick load. I've picked up here several times. I always deliver to this place in Minnesota. So I knew what to expect on this load. And uh, sometimes it's knowing what you're going to get is worth more than making an extra couple hundred bucks on a load. To me, I'm not saying it's always, that's my thought process on it. So let's go over these numbers real quick. Um, and, and this load was from the end of September, the beginning of October, 2023, just in case you're watching this in the future, smash that like button and know that, uh, that's when this load was completed. Now let's talk about it. $6,900 total revenue for the week. My 80% of that is $5,520 and mile wise. Let's talk about it. 2,426 all miles. 305 empty miles, 2,121 loaded miles, 2,121 on the loaded miles. That is 13% deadhead. I'm okay with that for the money I made for the week. Uh, I mean, as long as empty miles are paying, you know, like in the grand scheme of things, I, I don't mind the deadhead. And let's break down the variable expenses. I spent $877 in diesel. I spent $221 in reefer. I spent $70 on tolls and $14 on a cat scale. And that's a pretty cut and dry week right there. I don't mind going south like that when I can make good money at it because I know the back hauls are going to be pretty atrocious back to Minnesota. So as long as I can get the money going down, I don't mind doing it because uh, you know, $70 in tolls is not a lot of tolls, honestly, you know, versus going out east or something like that. So 1182 total variable expenses. We bring over my 5520, subtract out the 1182, and we get $4,338 through $500 of that into the maintenance account. And that leaves me 3838 left to do what I have to do. And weekly fuel cost are 36 cents a mile on diesel fuel. So overall, pretty profitable week. I'll take that on uh, 2,400, you know, 24, 26 all miles. I find that to be a good week for me. It fits my needs, and that's ultimately what I'm doing here. I'm trying to, you know, meet my needs. And that's it for the week. Now, I want to touch on something real quick that people have brought up about every weekly recap video. I get one person that brings it up and I want to talk about it because it's, it's just something that's brought up a lot and I want to address it and it's taxes. Okay. Almost every week someone says, Oh, you left out taxes. No, I didn't. I didn't leave it out on accident. I left it out, but not on accident. Taxes are something you are going to have to deal with yourself. Okay. It's just like truck payments. It's just like insurances. If you are watching this in reference to making a business plan, that is a business plan you will have to personalize, okay? That's it. Thanks for watching, everybody. Remember, take care of each other out there. And remember, people are more important than trucking. Hi, I want to talk to you real quick about the ES Advantage card. Do you need discounts at major truck stop chains? They got them. Do you need discount on shop rates at TA and Loves? They got them. Tire discounts. They even got health insurance now. Click the link down below. Easy application. No credit check. Sign up. They give you a call back. They'll take all your information, and you'll be in the network.